Alrighty, folks, we've got a game between Torben and Toggy. Everybody knows Toggy, oh. right? Toggy's a streamer. He runs these uh, nice tournaments. Yes, really nice guy. Torben's playing. But I want to say something. Toggy, please don't switch to German in your streams. I am a German guy, but it feels so weird. <laughs> okay? So please stay in German or stay in English. <laughs> All right. But I really like your streets. They're amazing. I I don't spend much time on Twitch. Okay, very nice, Torben. He's playing the Ice Guardian on the cliff here. And Toggy is going to um, try and rush. Meanwhile, Torben is going to wall trade here. And we might get some big base trading. Strikers from Toggy. The more I play Strikers, the more I think they're too strong. I think, but but I think that strikers in this case are not that too valuable. I agree. Yeah, in this case, not that much. He's going to lose the well, but Toggy's going to lose this well up here, um, and I think that we, he would have been better off if he would have just played uh, Fire Sworn instead of Strikers. Yeah, I agree. And Instead of the strikers in his main base, a second fire sworn. So he might have been able to keep his well. Not sure if he could. Um, I think Tagi is losing chance. his well for sure. The question is if he gets the second well, and I think Tagi should lose the second well also. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Torben has a very nice unit advantage. Um, I'd expect this game to be over right about now, but maybe Toggy's going to make something happen. I'm just playing a second Ice Barrier. I don't think there's any need for that. Yeah, I mean, if the Ice Guardians need to attack the well, but they won't, so I think, yeah, that's yeah. necessary. <laughs> um, okay. And he should and... just kill the other Ice Barriers. Right. Yeah, just... Um, going straight in, uh, trying to yeah. press the advantage. I like it. Very nice. Very and I nice. think Toggy could, or I think Torbank could just focus this well, and I would be not surprised to see a drop. Okay. Yeah, he's he's switching the focus fire from the Sun Striders. I think it's definitely right to attack the Strikers, but mm -hmm. kill the units if they're almost dead. Yeah, and then attack the Strikers. Uh huh. Okay, and so I think if Torben had suicided his army with home soil, I think he could have killed this well. Looks like he's rather trying to trade. Um, but now Torben has a... He doesn't have a unit advantage anymore, so I think the attack is done. He should run away, uh, stop making base units, and take tier 2, or take a well, something like that. What do you think, Gabriel? Yeah, that's a huge mistake. If you just stop attacking, no frostbites, no, stop right. attacking. Yeah. Stop, stop making dazed units. Yeah. You make dazed units yeah. when your opponent can spawn undazed, just, only if you have more yeah. units in them. Just go for um, a spawn in your in your base. Start for a new dazed fight in the middle. Mm -hmm. And if your opponent avoids it, you just both go to your two and you have one well up. Exactly. No, but he oh he grabs a well again and his and Toggy is also re-grabbing as well. Right. So Toggy is still down one well. Um, he, Toggy's got the tempo advantage over Torben um, because he's got these units alive from this attack. Although the Strikers are, um, they've lost two members. And it looks like Torben yeah. is going to try and go into another attack. Personally, well, I don't know what he's playing. Maybe Torben is playing Stunken. If Torben's playing Drift Frost, then I think he should definitely go take tier 2 and, and just end this. Yeah, bad spawn here from the Ice Guardian. Yeah. And uh, as Frost, you want to avoid the dazed fight. So Tagi is doing good to bait him away from his own wells. And again, as as Torben, well, we don't know what Torben's playing. Maybe he's playing Stonekin. Um, but if he's playing Pure Frost, I think he should be trying to look at how to go tier 2 as fast as possible. Yeah, I think... I don't know what Torment is thinking, or if he knows, but I think that most people know mm -hmm. that Toggy is playing Pure Fire. Yes. And, and 
if he is playing Stonekin, if he's playing Pure Frost, he should know that he's favored. Yes. And Torben is playing... I mean, even, again, like we've discussed earlier, Frost has an advantage over basically every fire tier 2. Except that. Depending. Depending. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so maybe he's not playing Pure Frost. And he, he, maybe he's playing... Yeah. Um, again, the Strikers... They cost so much. I, I think they get a ton of value from looting, but I'm just not sure if it's worth the tempo less. Yeah. But yeah, I think. Um, also, earlier Torben could have walked us by quite convincingly if he played home soil. What was that, Yabro? Yeah, I think that strikers are so useful and underrated in many matchups, but in this matchup, you should just hold back on the strikers. Well, right, but the thing is that if Torben makes any mistake. Uh, Tagi is just looting so much power from them, right? Yeah, that's true. But I think in the long term, you should just try to not. Uh... Okay. Yeah, when not you count two, your points and mistakes. Yeah. This is going to be a rough clipping spot. You don't want Fire to have this position to clip you on one side. That's not what you want. There's a good frostbite. I think he should be focusing the strikers so that he's going to have low presence. That what charge... the hell happened to the strikers? I don't know why they charge so far. Okay. I, that's, you know, that's, that's how it works, you know? Um, yeah. The well I think the there, better thing was... was really... I think the better thing was to take the well and not the monument well, yeah. because the monument would definitely have dropped. Um, and this Skyfire Drake from Tagi. Uh, but yeah. I think Tagi should oh, stop no. attacking here. Take the archers. That's bad. And just he should focus down the scavenger. Yes, he is, and run away. I think yeah. Tagi should be making some maybe fire dancers down here instead of focusing on the attack at the top. So, uh, Corbin defended very good, and he is he's playing pure frost. Yes. So there's a Pure Frost versus Pure Fire matchup. Uh, Turbin is heavily favored, although he does have the squad of Master Archer sitting here. And, and what we shouldn't forget mm -hmm. is that Torben still is one well up. Two wells up. He's actually two wells up, yeah. Exactly. Boom, Scorched Earth, very nice. Uh, remember, if you kill your own monument, you get everything except 25 power back. So. Yeah, he should kill his own monument way now. Way better to kill your own monument He's than to die. He's not killing it. Oof. Yeah. So that's that's and gonna be um, that's a critical mistake. He should get his shield on the ice guardians. Now mm -hmm. he is, and a problem you have against fire versus frosty one is that you can't really deal with skyfire drake exactly. and ravage but he can now rebuild his monument because right. there's no ground presence for exactly. scorched earth mm -hmm. and he could think about taking but this wall is... to stall somebody out looks like he's coming down for the monument on the bot on the left side and just playing a glacier show uh this kind of passive defense i think is not going to work i think this wall is going to fall too because he's playing like this Yes, yeah, so yeah, he just to take... grab the wall. Right, grab exactly. the wall, yes. There was a nice wall here, because if the Enforcer would have gotten too close, he could still Scorched Earth and then go for the Railing Banner. Exactly. Oh, it looks like this Glacier Shell actually is going to do an okay job holding up. The Skyfire Drake is going to... Oh, he just died! Oh, he killed Skyfire wow. Drake. I wasn't expecting that one. I was not expecting that either. Uh, the wall's done its job. Okay, good job, Jordan. Breaking the wall. Um, I have not... I have not seen Torben in game, but it uh, looks like he's playing quite well. Very good Glacier Shell okay. to so, save. Mm -hmm. Now I see the Ravage was killing the Skyfire Drake because the Ravage was not on the Skyfire Drake, it was on the Enforcer. Oh, huh. I see. That was, the, that was a weird move, yeah. But maybe it was a misclick. Yeah. We don't know. I mean, it looked like it was on the Drake to me, too. Yeah. Uh, Torben, is this is this a Weakling's alternate account? What's this about, Roddy? Yeah, 
that seems like it. Who has sent this replays to you? <laughs> uh, Torben sent it to me. Okay. And he was called Torben. Okay. Um, I think it, 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 it meant his, his, his name might have been Torb um, on the forums, but we'll go, we'll go by his in-game name here. Uh, now, Tagi has good pressure on the well. Uh, it might still drop. Cobalt Trick, and I think he should quit the show right now. Um, yeah, I think he should have just let this well fall and not play anything. Yeah, or because... you know, if you play something, then play a War Eagle so you can kill some of these units here. Yeah. But yeah. He got the power back from the well, and he is still up a well. Exactly. So just let it die. Don't try to defend what you can defend. Right. And, you know, this position is very strong for Torben to just cliff fire with the War Eagles. Yeah. Now that he's tier 2, he doesn't have to worry so much about being clicked by Fire Dancers because War Eagles are going to do a great job. Um, there's the Sky Elf Templar to take care of the Sky Fire Drake. Sky Fire Drake runs away, and a War Eagle should clean this up nicely. There's the War Eagle. Very nice. Yeah, and now we can just play Cobalt right. Trick. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's something that um, I think. Micro is very important, and you have to improve on that. But you also have to know the matchups and know the right. maps and, and the certain scenarios, and you have to cut the macro Tagi, game on point. Tagi is playing the correct way to play this. He's he's escaping to tier three. Now it's up to Torben to rush. Yeah. I think he should take care of this money, man. I don't I don't think he should go for this this uh, power well because because realize that Torben has 200 power weakness she can attack with, but he's got 300 power bound. Yeah, and... So he's gonna one this well. problem. He's, yeah, he's playing, he's playing a, a Lyrish Knight to um, get to this as fast as possible. Uh-huh. And maybe... But, yeah, instead of taking control. out that well, if he had taken out Norb, then you'd prevent Toggy from getting a Juggernaut. Toggy's just playing nothing because he wants that Juggernaut. So, uh... Yeah. The Juggernaut's out. That's the right thing to do. In tier 3, you have the lead again. In tier 3, you can come back, so... Right. Right choice from him. Now, I think I think this full lead might still be too much. Um, Tagi doesn't have a lot of power, awesome. and Torb, Torben can freeze him. He's also got the Lavish Knight, which are pretty good against Juggernauts. So, um, yeah. I, I don't think Torben has thrown the game by any means. But for sure, if he had just taken this, or if he had attacked this orb here, Doggy would have never gotten the Juggernaut out in the first place, and would have been a, a, a GG a few minutes ago. This still gives Doggy some openings, but um, Torben shut them down very nicely. Yeah, I think All that's game. With the Juggernaut. What's that? I think that's game. Yeah, I think that's game too. Um, Looks like Tagi's still gonna try. He's probably not gonna quit until his Juggernaut's dead because he still wants to try and make something happen. But this yeah. two with the Lowerish Knight is going to be very effective at deflecting the Juggernaut. Yeah, and if the Juggernaut dies, it's over. Right. Well, let's say when the Juggernaut dies. <laughs> uh, he could, yeah, it's Frostbitten. And. Yep. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, and then we can see a different way of end to this matchup. So, Pure Fire with Pure Frost is still heavily favored for Pure Frost. Right. You just stay tier 2, use your advantage, and if your opponent goes tier 3 very early, don't follow him. Just exactly. stay tier 2, pressure him, and you will usually win. Exactly. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next game.